Former President Donald Trump taking the fifth today, declining to answer questions in an investigation of whether the Trump Organization committed fraud. The hearing coming just days after the FBI searched his Mar-a-Lago home. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy has the latest now from the White House. Calvin Nicole Trump has criticized people for taking the fifth, and today he did just that. Former President Donald Trump arrived at the New York Attorney General's office in Lower Manhattan Wednesday. It's there he invoked the Fifth Amendment, refused to answer questions about a long-standing civil investigation into his business dealings. How do you feel, Mr. Trump? In a statement, Trump said, I once asked if you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Now I know the answer to that question. When your family, your company, and all the people in your orbit have become the targets of an unfounded, politically motivated witch hunt supported by lawyers, prosecutors, and the fake news media, you have no choice. It comes two days after the FBI executed a search warrant at his Mar-a-Lago resort that centers around allegations that Trump had properly removed documents when he left the White House that included some classified material that may have been brought to Florida. In response, Trump posted a campaign-style video on social media. We're a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've never seen anything like this. Republicans rushed to defend Trump, some even calling to defund the FBI accusing the Biden administration of weaponizing the agency. South Florida Representative Mario diaz Balart tweeted, the weaponization of law enforcement against political opposition must be condemned and never repeated. While Florida Senator Rick Scott called for a thorough and aggressive investigation. It has now been days since Trump was given a copy of the warrant, which explains and details the reasons behind this search. But at this point, he has not released that document. At the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.